Will your business survive the massive waste build-up on the beautiful island of Bali? Over the past 10 years, we have produced more plastic than that produced over the previous century. Our ocean, once full of colourful corals and an abundance of sea life, is now being replaced with toxic waste. Today, the most common element in the ocean is plastic. Over the next 10 to 20 years, the ocean will become a gigantic bowl of plastic soup. One in four fish tested now contains traces of plastic. Why is there so much waste in Bali? There are limited professional waste management systems across Bali's 850 banjars. Banjars are the local Balinese councils. There are no public rubbish bins and throwing your waste anywhere has become part of the culture. Many Balinese cannot afford the monthly waste collection costs. Plastic has replaced organic materials during local ceremonies. The legal dumps are overly exploited and leak large volumes of liquid waste into the water systems. Every day, 5,000 cubic metres of waste is illegally dumped around Bali. This eventually finds its way into the ocean through the wind, river, drains and the Subak rice field water system. Indonesia produces 12.3% of the global plastic waste, which equates to 130,000 cubic metres per day, yet Indonesia is only 3.48% of the global population. Dumped waste is commonly burnt in Bali, the fumes from toxic smoke, together with the stench of rotting waste, do not create a bright, healthy future for the residents of Bali, nor for the businesses and jobs in 80% of jobs in Bali are directly related to tourism. We interviewed some leading business owners to ask their views on trash. Every day when I go into the dive site, especially after big rain, there are a lot of trashes floating at the surface of the ocean. It is very difficult to start my diving activity by explaining why there are so much trashes and plastic into the water. Some tourists are, when they go surfing, sometimes the plastic coming to them or rubbing their legs. So, yeah, it's, it's not really good for them to try surfing. The waste is really making a difference nowadays. We hear a lot of guests uh, complaining about it. We hear a lot of return guests mentioning that it gets worse and worse. And yes, it's really affecting not only directly our business, but also tourism as a, a, in general uh, here in Bali. Uh, a lot of jobs will uh, be dependent on that and eventually tourism will decrease in Bali. People will not pay to dive among plastic. If we continue on this path, it will be a disaster for the destination. Roll Foundation is now in its 10th year. It has now experienced a fair bit of waste management, Balinese governance and educational fields. It's now developing and constructing the Zero Waste to Ocean Education and Demonstration Centre in Nusa Dua. This centre will be a complete example of zero waste to landfill, with 98% of waste recycled or reused. This zero waste management system is scalable to most of the 850 Banjar's needs. Mike O'Leary, the founder of the NGO, Roll Foundation will now walk you through the Zero Waste to Ocean Centre. Firstly, Roll puts on three conferences a year and runs an awareness campaign which includes Earth Day, World Oceans Day, Waterman's Week, which is held in August and September. Secondly, 
role is building the zero waste to oceans education and demonstration centre. We can demonstrate to these 850 Bunjar councils how they can take care of 98% of their waste, centralise their waste and not transport it or dump it all over Bali. This centre can also educate up their people, can educate up the scavengers, can educate everyone in good practices. A second target group is the Balinese children. We call it the Echo Scouts program. Firstly, we visit their school. Secondly, they come and do an interactive training and education tour. Thirdly, we go back to their school and their homes and check the, the, on the development. The third group includes the business sector, which includes the hotel and villa industries, which is important to Bali. We can teach them about how to do zero waste in their, in their company, and we can also train them and uh, demonstrate uh, at this facility. Royal Foundation, we don't want to be so negative, but look, 20 years time, there'll be no rainforest left. 20 years time, there'll be no fish in our oceans, just plastics and waste. 20 years time, our skies will be gray and brown. This is not some sort of cry for help. This is a reality. Everybody needs to act. Everybody needs to act now, especially our governments need to act now. We are assisting governments. We want to help the governments for helping the people. Secure the future of your Bali business, of jobs for your staff, of tourism, the future of our beautiful island Bali by supporting Zero Waste to Ocean and other environmental NGOs. How can your business help reduce the waste situation in Bali? By supporting NGOs, organisations, groups and individuals who are role models for the environment. By pushing all levels of government to clean up the existing waste and implement effective waste management systems. By supporting new industries which are sustainable and produce no toxic waste. By demanding products which are 100% recyclable. By making your own business sustainable. By educating your staff and encouraging them to educate their families and children. By attending Zero Waste to Ocean training program. By supporting Zero Waste to Ocean like Sweenia, the Balinese triathlete. Zero waste to ocean. And many other Zero people who love water ocean. sports. Zero waste to ocean. Join us and be part of the change Bali, Indonesia and the world needs. We believe businesses supporting sustainability will be the businesses of the future. Thank you for making the right decision. Zero waste to ocean.